questions 7 and 8 ask us to do some work with images. So if I just go to design view so it gives me a little bit more space. Question 7 is replace the text logo image up here. So I'm just going to delete that with the image called j9logo.jpg. Now because I've got all my files listed down here, all I have to do is go to the file in question, J9 Logo, and then click and drag and let go of, of my mouse button while my pointer is over this top left cell. Now we're not asked to add any alt text, that alternate text that pops up uh, if you hover your mouse over the image in a web browser. So I'm going to leave that and press OK. And our image is inserted. Now number 8 is replace the text sunset image, which was down here, uh, with the image called J9 sunset. So if I scroll down, I'll do the same thing to begin with. Click and drag press OK and we can see it's quite large but the question has actually asked us to resize the image so that it's 180 pixels wide and 320 pixels high. We don't have to maintain the aspect ratio. In other words the question has given us what pixels to use for height and width and we don't have to worry about it becoming warped which is when we're not ignoring the relative the relativity between the height and the width of the image. So one thing way I can do this is just change the HTML. If I go into split view here with my picture selected you'll see it's highlighted there for me and if I go to width we'll check that it has to become 183 and I'm going to add PX for pixels because that's what we were asked for and then change just add to the 320 that's already there a pixels measurement. Now when I go over here to refresh my page in design view you can see it has changed according to the new dimensions.